You know, as soon, as soon as I found out we had the opportunity to get them back, I immediately said, let's go with it, because the time they were here, either last year or two years ago, I don't remember exactly when, it was one of the favorite lectures of the year. And the great thing is, you're going to see an all-new lecture. So that's pretty exciting. So uh, they travel all over the world. You see them, they, they appear at uh, a lot of the conventions. Uh, they're truly some of the nicest people in magic. So put your hands together and welcome Sue Ann Webster and Tim Ellis. Check it out, there's nothing inside the first, make sure there's nothing there. Here I have three coins, one, two, three coins, no fountain. We have the let, coins like... Let me have a look at these coins. <laughs> First of all, the purse. No, there's nothing wrong with that, that's completely normal. And Kangaroo active. screw them. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know what a scrotum is? <coughs> a kangaroo scrotum doesn't have any seams around the side. <laughs> hold that, be quiet, just a moment. Let me have a look. <laughs> yep, that's a regular coin. Regular coin. Oh, no, it's not. Hang on a minute. Oh, you sneaky devil. This is a regular coin, a regular coin. Look at that. This one's got a hat on it. <laughs> <laughs> So we have the three coins. I'm going to ask you to help me out simply by holding onto my hand. Oh, yeah, that's good. All you need to do is just hold my hand closed like that. Yeah, that's good. Let me see what he's doing here. <laughs> ah, this is regular and this is regular. This has got the hat on it. Where's the other coin? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I know what he's going to do. He's going to put it in that hole right there. Uh, no, no, no. I'll show you. Hold it like that. Just get, get a good grip. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is take the coins like this, and you need to watch very carefully. I'm not going to touch the coins. I'm just going to pass the shadow of my hand across. <gasps> He's lying! <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's exactly what happened in my dream. <laughs> and you were there, and you were there, and <laughs> you were there, but you had sort of a tin silver hat on. <laughs> This coin here. How does he think he's going to get away with that? <laughs> than the other one, and that's our son. Thank you very much for helping out. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay, I didn't think you'd believe me, so what I did was I also brought along this just to uh, prove it. So, oh. thank you very much. It's 5.26 in the morning and we're getting up in this room. So I'm still getting herself organized. We're heading off to San Francisco. We're in Sacramento right now. We're up doing a fun lecture until what time was it? Oh, I've got no idea. 1 a.m. And I've got my morning voice on. Where are we right now? In the middle of the desert? No. We're actually at Prim, Nevada. About to have breakfast at McDonald's. And look at this. There's Buffalo Bill's resort with one of the largest roller coasters in the world. Goes all the way through the hotel, around the car park. So now we'll have our breakfast. Are you ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Driving in the mountains off to San Diego. Here we are in the live California halfway to Arizona in the courtesy coffee shop. Millions of RVs, RV vans, recreational vehicles, they're everywhere. Far 
far as the eye can see, just sitting in the middle of the desert. There's one we just drove past. Look, they're everywhere. And then way ahead of us, it looks like a whole city of RVs. Maybe they're all waiting to find a UFO appear on one of those strange tall mountains. Who knows? He's lined up everywhere. What's going on? In the middle of the desert, look at them all. All heading off towards that place there. They're all here to meet the aliens in the middle of the desert. We're absolutely in the middle of nowhere. This is so strange. Although it could be in the middle of nowhere, there's a McDonald's. So Anne says it's an international Jeremy thing. Gem. Gem. Gem thing. I, I think it's a classic thing. Thousands of people travelling into the middle of the desert. They're everywhere. They're all jam-packed on every piece of terrain. All here in the middle of the desert to look at rocks. I want to talk to you a little bit about what magic is actually about. We are in the back okay. of uh, a so, magic well, shop waiting to do a lecture. They've got the kids out there. Magic, magic shop. Magic shop. They've got their booking forms. Alright. Well, actually, the two gentlemen in the back are all kind of because they've been the most quiet and polite through the whole shop. But look. Come right over here, gentlemen. They've killed Snoopy. Right on this side. They, they've murdered right them. Right over here. All right, we have a wizard too. Please put your hand through it, sir. They've killed. Anything inside? Who is his twin brother? Okay, we have an empty tube, which goes over the top of the red stars, right like that. Inside the red stars, what do we keep, sir? Head. We've left Arizona, as you can see, and now we're in the world of coldness. Hi. We've got a van. Look, we've got a van thing, and we've got all our stuff packed in there. So we're here in Columbus. Uh, no, no, not Columbus. Where are we? Where are we? What country? Oh, I don't know. What are we in? Um, St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri. Where it's cold and it's going to get cold. <sighs> Once again, Sue Ann is driving because she's the only one who can keep on the correct side of the road. But look what we've got in our car. We've got a special trip computer. There's 52 degrees Fahrenheit which is 11 degrees Celsius, and it tells us uh, we're doing 183 miles per gallon. Oh no, 18.3. Oh, that would have been really good otherwise, wouldn't it? We're actually following a whole bunch of houses. Look at this, here we go, down the hill. And you can see another house ahead. This is very strange. If you pull him up, what do you do? You can't ask for his driver's license number or his registration plate. You'd have to ask him for his address. Uh, hello. Most people just have a caravan. This is a one-horse town. <laughs> but have a look over here. This is a lake. You see that? Okay, now it's not that cold. It's about 11 degrees Celsius. But look at the lake. It's frozen. You see that down there? No ice skating or hockey playing. But look at this. It's a frozen lake. I don't think I'll get onto it. Maybe I should, just to find out. But look at this. Maybe I can, hang on, let me just illustrate it with a rock. Look at this. That's solid, look at this. Isn't that incredible? That's the lake. I really want to walk on it, but I know I'll probably fall in. Anyway, we've been looking at rivers and stuff all around this area, and they are all frozen like this. Oh well, look, see there's, there's water under there, but I know that if I stand on it, it's gonna break and I'll... Oh well, I'll try it anyway. I better turn this off. Look, my shoe's wet now. <laughs> Look what happens. I'll see if I can do this without falling in. Here we go. The whole lot's just moving. Ah! <laughs> Lucky I've got waterproof shoes on. <laughs> Back up the hill, and now so I will never know what a fool I've been. 
look at this little restaurant here. Can you see the title of that? It's a very famous fishing restaurant, the Bass Hole. <laughs> Bar and Grill, bait and tackle shop. We've decided to go onto the other side of the freeway and buy something for lunch there because I don't think I would like the taste of that food. Howdy folks, we're here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Rocky Mountain, Smoky Mountain, Smoky Mountain, and now the Rocky Mountain. Folks, if you look over here, you can tell this is God's country here in the Smoky Mountains. God's country, fishing gifts. Oh, it's God's country. Just stop to take a break. Guess what this town is called? Gee, Tim, you've just got so much happening for yourself. I didn't want anyone to know about this town, but obviously stumbled upon it, so now the secret's out. Oh, you're amazing. Hey, we're lost. We're driving along, you see, because they took and they said, come afterwards, come to the Magic Club and sell more stuff, because we did, oh, it's like, I just saw myself in the... Oh, you're it's green. Like, it's like, Blair Witch Project. We're so scared. We're driving, but we don't know where we are. Anyway, so we're driving along because he said, um, oh, come to the magic meeting, come to the magic meeting afterwards and uh, sell some stuff because there weren't that many people there. So he said, OK, we'll come along. But he didn't know where it was. So he drove and drove and drove following his van, drove and drove and drove. Finally, he gave up. And we said, look, just drive us back to the hotel. They said, we'll drive you back to the hotel. So they drove us back, but they drove too fast. And now we're in the freeways. We don't know where we are. But the reason I thought I'd tell you this is because I just saw a funny sign and I didn't get to video it. It was an ad for Powerball and it said underneath at the bottom, lottery games should not be played for investment purposes. Well, now we're on the right freeway, but will we ever find the right exit? It's only 8.33 now. We finished the lecture um, almost two hours ago. And now we're finally getting back to our hotel. Ah, bye. Here we are. We've just done the Columbus Magi Fest. Sue Ann's working hard trying to send things home and send lecture notes on to future things. And where are we today, Sue Ann? Uh, we're at Detroit. And it's snowing outside. Have a look at all the snow. Isn't it pretty? Good it does look very pretty along the roadways. They have to put salt on the road. So, uh, and or some sort of ash as well, so uh, we don't slip. And this is what happens every day. We get to the new hotel. In this case, we're in, what town are we in? Uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. And we unpack everything from, this is the Howard Johnson's Hotel, which is surrounded by other shops like McDonald's and Blockbuster and things like that. So we turn up here. Now I walk around and Sue Ann packs everything out of the car. She takes it all out. See, she's carrying all the boxes, like a good girl. And uh, then after a while, she'll get everything into the room and then she'll carry me in and she'll make me a lovely cup of tea and she'll give me a foot massage. And, and there's see all this luggage, there's the sum of it. And there's also boxes of lecture notes. We sent off two big boxes of lecture notes just before. And then we go into our room. And tonight, we're going off to lecture at Payne's House of Cards. I don't think it's a real house of cards, but um, we'll find out tonight. So we'll take you along, you can see what we do. Oh, so it still hasn't brought all the luggage in yet. Oh, maybe I'll go and give her a hurry up. Look at this can of drink. Can you see what it says? You can open up a can of that. It says, whoop ass. No, because no, that's Australian. That's how you pronounce it in Australia. Drink. Whoop ass. No, that's not how you say it. This is a typical day. Oh, hello, is Wallace there, please? Oh, it's Tim Ellis calling. Tim Ellis, the magician, who's going to be coming along with Sue Ann Webster to lecture. Who? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Tim Ellis. 
the ma magician who's coming along with Sue Ann Webster to lecture <laughs> on uh, Saturday night. So now we follow our map quest directions to try and find Haynes House of Cards. And there it is, Haynes House of Cards. That's the famous Haynes House of Cards. Oh. Well, I thought there'd be something unusual here being Haynes House of Cards. Um, hmm. Well, that's interesting, eh? An enormous cow standing in a trailer. Oh, well, at least we saw something interesting today. It's so in the snow. It's just started snowing here. She's making tracks. That's our hotel over there. We're going to have some tea in this restaurant, hopefully. We've just come back from watching some movies. And we're, where are we, Chicago? Yes. And this is the big snowstorm. It's just starting, so who knows how deep these cars are going to be in the snow tomorrow morning. Almost 8 o'clock in the morning, we're doing a big drive to Salt Lake City next. Look, oh, yeah, I'll prove to you, look. Back Plaza Inn. Well, we got into the car and I took the water bottle out. And look, it's frozen while it's been in the car overnight. That's how cold it got inside the car. Well, I guess that's what you get here in the big butt. Even all of our spare bottles out there, they're all frozen as well. It's very funny. We had to bring the computer and the camera in because they were so cold, even at the start of the night. Oh, well. Cold, isn't it? Oh, yes. Look at the postcard we've got. Big hole valley. So That's shiny butt out. Antenna. Beaverhead Country, Big Hole River. Oh, that's very strange. And look over there, look. A wooden car. <laughs> we are going to enter the magic zone. You right? What's the matter? Imagination. Anything, anything, 
You got a frog, that's it? All right, frog. A green frog. Bob here, here we go. Well, here we are leaving the Bates Motel. Oh, sorry, the Swan Motel. Look at that. Big room, eh? Creepy room. Another wooden car. <laughs> Good morning. Here we are, 7 a.m. at uh, New York City. This is it. This is New York City, as you can see. See, that's the influence of psychics. They make your camera go weird. Here we are. Good traffic. Look at that. All these people above the traffic. There's traffic driving under you every day. This is our This is the Empress Hotel. Here we are in Paris, sitting in the back of David Stone's car. Yeah. With Nicola. <laughs> we all and have me. luggage in our lap. This is, and uh, there's Tim. And this is, look at this. <laughs> and it's also in the back as well. <laughs> look how much room David's got in the front. <laughs> look, he doesn't have you. any luggage in his hand at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 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 look, you have a camera. <laughs> Turn. This is evidence. <laughs> so I hope they find oh this, God, this videotape amongst all the wreckage of the car. This <laughs> 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 is the only thing that will survive. The double form. We're about to go inside and... Look, there we go. Okay. Nice. If you want. Look who gets top billing. There it is. Nicole Kidman's in there. And Sue Ann just spotted the Tim Hotel. It's a hotel just for me. Oh, right between two sex shops. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a shot of you together, David? Thank you. Thank you, Pointer. Gave me an autograph. Fantastic. In those windows there is the Magic Club of Vienna. That's where we did our lecture last night. But we're not in there. We are in this hotel across the street. And this is the Kolping Hotel. And as you can see, it's got beautiful plastic floors, small bathroom, and little tiny, funny single beds like that. But this is the European way. This is the little streets of Innsbruck, and we're heading towards the Autobahn. 
happened now. And we're going. driving with a manual on the right hand side. Yeah, and a very strange map that doesn't have all the streets. Here we go. Are you we finally managed to get through after figuring out the intricacies of this little gear at our map. So Anne's got her exit card. Can I go on the other side? Our luggage is here. Here we go. So Anne puts her ticket in. Good fart. What did it say? Good fart. It said good fart and I'm not kangaroo hopping now. It's an unusual ice cream. Hi. Here we are in Germany, uh, in Munich actually, and uh, we're about to do the lecture. There's Thomas Vaps talking to Sue Ann, preparing some uh, audience members, setting them up. This is inside the restaurant private room where we're going to be lecturing. If we have a look outside, here are the streets of Munich by night. Sue Ann packed in the luggage rack again. <laughs> We're here at the Birmingham Waterworks and this tower is one of the two towers in Lord of the Rings. That was J.R.R. Tolkien's inspiration. And this one is also one of J.R.R. Tolkien's inspiration for the Twin Towers in Lord of the Rings, or sorry, the Two Towers in Lord of the Rings. This is part of the Birmingham or Birmingham University. It's a meteorological tower. Hey. Here we are in South Africa, in Cape Town, in the airport. We're still waiting for our bags to arrive. Sue Ann's off getting some money changed. And I'm standing here, looking at all these millions of bags, wondering, where on earth could ours be? I'm sure they're in there somewhere. There's some of our bags. The other bag, it's lost. It's gone. Nobody knows where it is. What a surprise. Well, we're here in South Africa. We're at the breakfast room of the Grand Hotel. Uh, <laughs> okay. Have a breakfast? And I'll just take you a little here. They found our luggage. This is the Grand West Casino and Entertainment Complex. This is the breakfast room, as you can see. They're bringing some orange juice for us because our room's not ready yet, but it'll be ready in a moment. Look out here. This is outside. There's the casino through there, and this is the little food court area. Look at this, the Roxy Review Bar. Who's playing there tonight? Look at this, look who's playing at our, in our co. Ellis and Webster from Australia. They must be famous. Oh, can't wait to see them. Who else is on the bill? Why, it's Tommy Wonder as well. Here we are in South Africa at, oh, this is not, the College of Magic, and the camera has now completely wrecked itself. So I have to do this all manually. I'm doing a special uh, Australian television program. <laughs> here now. This is going live to Australia. <laughs> They also come in this beautifully hand-woven black carry bag designed expressly to protect the secret of the cups and balls. <laughs> <laughs> We're here and we're ready to go. Let's vanish the sun. Wow, that's incredible! Look, it's 
just disappeared. And could you believe it? This is the greatest illusion of all time. We've changed the sun into the moon. It's the most incredible trick I've ever seen in my life. That was amazing! Wow, my life, my life will never be the same. I messed up my life, but I'll do it again. Wow, my life will never ever be the same. Thank you, Tim. Okay, now, Tim, I think we need to bring the sun back. It's really dark out here. is the most incredible trick I've ever seen. It's so bright, I have to put my sunglasses back on. I wish you were all out here with me. And remember, we achieve this with no camera tricks whatsoever. Hello, can you let me out to see what's out there? We've got to keep these close for the monkeys. The monkeys will come in and eat our, uh, eat our luggage. But look out here, this is the Zimbabwe land. Hmm. Can you see down there? I have to zoom in. Tim, look behind you. Warthog steak, ostrich kebabs, marinated chicken, and kudu steak. This side's Botswana is Craig and Tim. And Tommy. And look at the view ahead of us. Okay. Look at the view up there. This is Botswana. And the Chobi River. They're very close. And he's uh, getting closer. Oh, a tiny one there. Little tiny baby. Tiny baby. But they're still warm. Oh. Oops, did that was on my way as well. He's looking, look. Oh, wow. Shop tip. No shop tip. A very colourful monkey. <laughs> Tired lions lying under the tree just here. We're all in this van and it's about the video's about to die, so enjoy it while you can. At Victoria Falls, this is maybe as close as we can get without getting soaked by the mist. <laughs> at the falls. Here, have a look. Look at that. As wide as I can get, we're very close. And these are the the people who've looked at the falls. Tommy really worked up a sweat. And Craig is... Uh, Wet as ever. He's just pleased with himself. Look at that. <laughs> These are our three adventurers. This man will uh, just show that I'm completely dry. It doesn't affect me at all. No. <laughs> sure. Because you're Mr. Steve Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are relaxing. As the sun set, it sets really fast here in Africa. Tommy just tried to photograph it, and by putting his lens on, it went down below the horizon. Well, it was a beautiful sunset, and uh, we'll get a postcard.